here we are. And my message to you today on day 14, don't compare yourself to others. I know you've heard me say that before. The only person you have to compare yourself to is the person you were yesterday. So don't compare yourself to anyone but you. That's why, and this is a reminder, that's why I wanted all of you to take your before and after pictures in like guys in a pair of boxer shorts, a pair of briefs, a pair of biker shorts, women in, you know, underwear, a bra or a bikini or, you know, underwear and a sports bra or biker shorts and a sports bra. That way, the only person you're comparing yourself to on day 14 is the person you were yesterday or the person you were on day one. Some of you like visuals. We can compare day one to day 14. And you, especially if you think you haven't, if you haven't accomplished much, well, I'm not seeing much of a change and oh, I've only lost five pounds and well, you know, this, this and everything else. But when you look at the pictures, those speak a thousand words and that's when your eyes will pop open and you're going, oh my gosh, I would never believed it. That's why we do those. So, and remember, every body is different. We are all different shapes, sizes, makes, and models. Everyone's endurance is different. Everybody's stamina is different. Everyone's conditioning is different. Everybody's internal system is different. Plus, you don't know what everybody else is doing for their food, their drinks, their meal plan. You don't know. The only thing you know is what you're doing. And all you need to think about and be focused on is doing your absolute best for today. I quit telling myself years ago of, you know, I did my best. I did my absolute best. And I stopped saying that because I always thought in my head, I, I always knew if I said it, I didn't really. And that began to bother me. Why, well, no, I, I don't really do, you know, anything in life. I don't really, you know, in what I was going through back then. And so I realized over the course of the last couple of years is, you know what, it's not about doing my absolute best. And then I let myself down and then I beat myself up because, you know, I, I know I could have done better. And well, no, it really wasn't my best because, you know, I could have done this. I could have done, you know, I just know I could have done a whole lot better. So I began telling myself, you know what, I'm going to do my best for today. You know, some of you who have struggled struggled with anxiety, social anxiety, depression. I mean, like I have it, it over part of my my life and, and recent, um, it really became disabling and crippling. I was about paralyzed for many years because of it. So that's when I really had that revelation and that awareness. You know what? I can do my best and be proud of that because I can do my best for today. And if that means, you know what, I did, instead of four sets of my Gold Star exercise, I did two. But it's better than zero. Instead of 20 reps, I did 15. Oh, it's better than 10, like we did our first week. So look at it that way. Do your best for today. And then tomorrow is a brand new day clean slate almost like a do over each day and and you know what today i did you know it's now we're into tomorrow you're you do three sets instead of 15 reps you did 18 reps you know that's the way to look at that it's um you know it's not a competition of a uh, Oh, I think all I think about is like Miss America competition. It's not anything so profound that you just have to, oh, if I don't do it all, I'm no good. It's not like that. It's just be be better than the person you were yesterday. Okay, maybe yesterday I did 12 reps instead of 20. And today I did 15. Tomorrow I'm gonna shoot for 16. That's what it be better than the person you were yesterday. 
And each day when you wake up, you're going to declare, I'm going to do my best for today. And when you fulfill that, pat yourself on the back, give yourself a gold star because you did your best for that day. Tomorrow is a brand new day. We get to do it all over again. We can reevaluate. We can push ourselves a little more. And maybe our mindset will be better. So, you know, we've got to give ourselves account for the days we're, we're, you know, we're just not really mentally there. Our emotions are, are running a little bit, you know, uh, uh. you know, though we have those days. So when the mental and emotional starts being affected and we want to start beating ourselves up and, and getting into the can't and the what I haven't done, what I haven't accomplished and all. And we're getting back into that negativity and that yucky uh, mindset. Shrug that off. Sometimes you have to brush it off and just tell yourself, you know what, today I'm going to do the best that I can for today. When nighttime comes and you look back and think, yeah, you know what, I'm proud of myself. I had a great day. I did my best and I did it. So just, you know, take care of you. Focus on yourself. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. Again, you don't know the race they're running. You don't know what their struggles are in their day. You don't know what they're facing each day when they wake up or what they're facing when the nighttime rolls in. So just, you know, pray for others, focus on you and do your best for you. And remember, we are all better together. Talk to you soon.